So you're thinking about moving to Edmond, specifically the western side of Edmond, and you're wondering what are some of the top neighborhoods in western Edmond? Well, in this video, I'm going to be giving you some of my personal top favorites. Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kinsley Hauser and I'm a local real estate agent in Edmond, Oklahoma and its surrounding areas. Whether you're moving in 10 days or 10 months, I would love to be able to help you in the buying or selling process. In this video, I'm going to be giving you my top three neighborhoods in the Western Edmond area. There are tons and tons of great neighborhoods. I could honestly make hundreds of videos of the top neighborhoods in Edmond because there are that many. But in this video, I'm just going to be focusing on three. I'm going to be telling you roughly about how old the neighborhoods are, HOAs, what that includes, some pros and cons of the neighborhood, as well as some other things that I think you might find helpful. So go ahead and stick around. And if you're not already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. That way you are the first to know about any updates that come in the Edmond area. Okay, the first neighborhood that I want to give you is Lone Oak East. And there is a whole community of Lone Oak neighborhoods. There's new ones coming in, there's more established ones. And the one I specifically want to talk about is Lone Oak East. And this is right off of 150th in Portland, again on that western side. Some might even consider this North Oklahoma City. The majority of these homes are going to be in the 200 to 400,000 range. And you're going to see square footage from low 12, 1300s all the way up past 2000 square feet. This community is a homes creations community. They have built these homes and they truly are beautiful. The yards are very well kept and well manicured. It is a newer neighborhood. About five years old is gonna be your oldest home, but then there are new constructions still being built to this day. Your HOA is around $350 annually, but this gets you a pool, it gets you a green belt, it gets you a playground. And so these are some really great features to have for $350 a year, in my opinion. Lone Oak East is in Deer Creek schools, and so you're going to be zoned for the Deer Creek Elementary, Middle, and High Schools. One of the reasons I love this neighborhood is because you are extremely close to anything you could need. Again, some people might consider this area North Oklahoma City, and you're not wrong, it's kind of, Western Edmond, North Oklahoma City. But because of that, you are so close to the mall, to restaurants, to movie theaters, to grocery stores. Within five minutes, you can be at the mall, you can be at Walmart, you can be at Sam's Club. 10 minutes, you can be at Costco. Honestly, at tons of places within a matter of five to 10 minutes. And you're also only about 20 minutes from downtown Oklahoma City. So if you work at Paycom, if you like going to the Thunder Games, if you like going downtown, you are again only about 20 minutes from downtown Oklahoma City. And on the flip side of that, you're only about 20 minutes from downtown Edmond. Again, it's on the western side this neighborhood is. And so depending on traffic, you're only gonna be about 20 minutes from that cute little downtown in Edmond. Some cons of this neighborhood is there is a lot of new construction. Again, there's homes being built to this day. And so you're still gonna be having some construction in the neighborhood. There's also an apartment complex that is just east of the neighborhood. And depending on where your house is located, those apartments could be really close to your backyard. And so again, overall, this neighborhood is a great neighborhood, very well kept, very well maintained, great facilities for you to use. The homes are very cute. They look very nice. And overall, I think this is a very good neighborhood. Number two on this list is The Grove. This is going to be probably one of the most well-known neighborhoods in Edmond. Again, it is on the Western side of Edmond. There are hundreds of homes. There are a lot of new divisions of the neighborhood. So you have, you know, the older sections, you have newer sections. You have a large variety of homes in the Grove. You have a little bit of older homes, you have newer homes, you have big homes, you have small homes, you have different builders that have built different homes. So you have a lot of variety when it comes to this neighborhood. Your homes in the Grove are gonna range from about 1,400 square feet to 2,600 square feet. And again, you have multiple builders. You have homes by Tabor, you have Home Creations, Beacon Homes, and Sean Forth Homes. So you have a lot of home builder options in this neighborhood as well. The HOA is $400 annually, but this comes with a lot of amenities. Multiple parks and playgrounds, you have resort style pools, you have fitness centers, soccer fields, gazebo, lakes, greenbelt. There is an on-site elementary school. Grove Valley, which is again a Deer Creek school, is on-site a part of that little block of the neighborhood. So very convenient and again it offers a lot of amenities. As I said, Grove Valley, which is a Deer Creek school, is on site and so as you can tell, 
the Grove is a part of Deer Creek School District. The Grove is still very convenient to lots of the things that you might need. It's a little farther north. It's right in between Portland, May, and then 178th and 192nd. So depending on where you live in the neighborhood, you really could get to the neighborhood and a bunch of different roads. It's very convenient to shopping, restaurants, grocery stores. You're gonna be within 15 to 20 minutes for most anything that you would need. And you're only about 25 minutes from downtown Oklahoma City and only about 15 minutes from downtown Edmond. Some cons of this neighborhood is that it is a large neighborhood. Some people prefer to be in smaller neighborhoods that you know more of your neighbors. Again, the Grove is a large neighborhood, probably one of the largest neighborhoods in Edmond. And so if that isn't your feel, you probably won't like the Grove. And there is still a lot of development surrounding the neighborhood. There are new homes in the neighborhood. There's new developments all around the neighborhood. But again, this is exciting because that means that there's more coming to Edmond. But with that, you could have had a backyard that has nothing behind it. And then all of a sudden now there's a gas station. And so that's just one thing to kind of look up to see what those areas are zoned for. And that'll kind of give you an idea of if you would want to buy a house in the different parts of the neighborhood. My last neighborhood that I want to talk to you about is Rushbrook. And this neighborhood is absolutely beautiful. It's right off of Danforth and Western. So you're heading a little more into central Edmond, still not quite to the downtown, but you're getting a little bit closer. These homes are going to be around 400 to $500,000. And this neighborhood is zoned for Edmond Public Schools. So if you're looking for something besides Deer Creek, this neighborhood is a great option in the Edmond Public School District. In this neighborhood, you have almost 400 homes. Your HOA is around $450 annually, but this includes Greenbelt, pools, playground, ponds, splash pads, pool house, common areas. You're given a lot with your HOA in this neighborhood. And you're really close to a lot of things. You're a little bit closer to downtown Edmond, so you could probably get to downtown Edmond in around 10 minutes. But then to get to Oklahoma City, it's gonna take you probably around 25 to 30 minutes to get to downtown Oklahoma City. You're very conveniently located to restaurants, grocery stores, Walmart is about five minutes away. Mitch Park is also about five minutes away. If you go to the YMCA at Mitch Park, or if you just like to go there and walk, you're very close to Mitch Park. Some cons maybe with this neighborhood, it is still developing new construction. Depending on where you live in the neighborhood, you might have some commercial properties behind you. But again, this is something you can look up for zoning. It is going to be again, a bigger neighborhood, but I do think overall it is a great neighborhood. I think it is a beautiful neighborhood. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you found it helpful. I hope that if you're moving to Edmond that you might consider looking into one of these neighborhoods for your next home. If you are moving or selling and you are looking for a real estate agent, I would love to be able to help you in the process of buying or selling your next home. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe so you're up to date on all the things that are happening in Edmond and in its surrounding areas. Thank you so much for sticking to the end of this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Feel free to reach out, give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email, schedule a Google Meet. That way that we can sit down and plan your next move. You can find all of this on my website at kinsleyhauserrealestate.com and I would love to be able to serve you and assist you on your next move.